everyone, welcome back to the Nasty Metal Box channel here at YouTube. So as you can see, I'm here back with another album review, and this is for the newest album from Jack Stars, Burning Star, uh, titled Stand Your Ground. Now, um, Jack Star, of course, is best known for playing at Virgin Steel. Uh, played on some of the more earlier albums, at least albums before 1985, at least. But again, uh, he formed uh, the you know this band uh, Jack Star's Burning Star in 1984 after leaving Virgin Steel. Released uh, albums such as Rock the American Way, No Turning Back, Blaze of Glory, and uh, the self-titled Jack Star's Burning Star album. And of course, uh, also uh, released uh, some solo albums under just Jack Star with 1984's Out of the Darkness featuring the late former Riot singer Rip Forster. Uh, but of course, years later, Jack Star resurrected Burning Star in 2004 with a new lineup featuring future Riot V singer Todd Michael Hall. And from 2009, the band had been releasing albums such as Defiance and Land of the Dead. And now here in 2017, with their third album, with this new lineup titled Stand Your Ground. Uh, just, um, yeah, Stand Your Ground was released on August 25th through High Roller Records, both CD and vinyl. So at that, um, what can you really expect from this? Well... It's time to get to the songs here. Uh, we definitely start the album off with uh, Secrets We Hide and The Enemy. It kicks the album uh, into gear. Then the track Stand Your Ground comes up and takes the album into almost over 10 minute epic ride that ends on a somber note. Uh, of course with some, you know, good feel, whatever, due to it, it just, uh, just ends it on, on a real good note. And uh, so after that, Hero comes in and brings the energy after the last couple of minutes of somberness of the title track. Then Destiny the, has this, uh, comes up and it has this feel about it with its sing-along like lyrics and heartfelt message, but still retains its rocking vibe without getting lost in translation. Uh, definitely another good track there. Sky is falling, brings back the heaviness with its crushing like marching beat. Another good track on here, Worlds Apart, is next up. And is the ballad on this album, which brings the album in a dramatic note. But, after that, Escape from the Night keeps the album in melodic, you know, dramatic mode. But it's more on the metallic side than on the slow ballad side like the previous song and features some great guitar soloing from Jack Star himself. Next up, uh, We Are One. So it brings back the energy, but still has a melodic, uh, melodic and dramatic, and again, uh, has this uh, uplifting message, but still has a metallic tone. After that, Stronger Than Steel comes in, this time brings back the metallic intensity, and while still melodic, still retains its heavy rockingness. Or heavy rocking edge, I think would be a better way to put it. Definitely good track. Now, False Gods comes in and keeps up the intensity and metallic heaviness, but top of the message that tells the listener to not believe in what they get told, either from uh, anything that you see. Uh, doesn't matter, news, media, whatever, uh, basically that. So the track kind of has a conspiracy feel to it and is different from the rest of the songs that have a more uplifting, more uh, victorious messages, making this song more serious than the rest. Now the album ends with To The End, ends the album on a dramatic and somber note. So. Um, overall, yeah, uh, time for the score, um, 8.50 out of 10. A good U.S. power metal album with good pacing, moods, and somewhat diverse, but not too, but does what it has to do in keeping itself from not deviating from its main focus. So, wait, it is a good album. I know I had to write some of this stuff down, because... 
I don't know. I kind of feel it's a little more professional to do in a way. Yeah, I know I, I should be, you know, just saying it how the way I feel. But you know what? I've kind of been taking a different approach to some of my reviews here. So whenever listening to the album, I write the notes down. So it keeps things uh, better paced. Uh, but again, so like I said, definitely a good album from Jack Stars Burning Star. Todd Michael Hall definitely does a good performance on here. Pretty much the mo most of the band here definitely pulls off a great performance, and the album definitely has some good highlights. Definitely one of the best songs on here has to be Stronger Than Steel, and of course the first two tracks. Even the song False Gods has some really good uh, you know, riffs in there and good leads. Um, definitely, and of course due to that, it's serious, sort of heavy nature, it definitely adds to that sort of real, almost political sort of edge to the track. And I guess you could say maybe anti-political, but again, it's almost got a bit of a politically charged feel to the track. Still, nonetheless, it's definitely a solid album and definitely one that's definitely worth picking up if you are a fan of uh, Jack Starr's earlier albums or have been a fan of his, uh, of his work uh, no matter what. This is definitely an album I definitely do uh, recommend to those. So, and of course, if you want a good, you know, metal album, it, it, you ain't going to do yourself any wrong with this. It's a, definitely a solid album from Jack Star. So, until then, this is Heavy Thrash Shit. Sam, I am out. And I'll see you later.